For this project, I set myself a goal to turn something old into something new. I recently got this oak coffee table on Facebook Marketplace for $30. And I got it because of the wood. There are plenty of these types of oak tables around, pretty cheap. The tabletop was made up of 45mm glued up pieces, and some of the pieces were wider and some smaller. The goal is to make a bench that is a Danish design called Skagerak Cutter. I started by taking the table apart, and that was pretty simple. I decided to save the hardware, should I ever make a similar table, I'll have the hardware for the legs. I took a photo of it to remember how it was assembled. That's one of those photos you take that just end up in the cloud and you never watch it ever again. Tabletop is glued up from several thin strips. The glue marks are visible, so I wanted to cut along those lines. That way I will get solid oak pieces to work with. I was going to cut it up on the table saw, but it was pretty heavy, so I decided to go with a circular saw and a guide track instead. I will have to square them up on the jointer anyways. I started by cutting up the widest strips first, as I will need these for the leg structure. Then I used a planar thicknesser to get all the pieces square, meanwhile removing the finish as well. For the leg structure I need two long pieces that are 120 centimeters long and six pieces that are 40 centimeters long. I drew up the bench in Fusion 360 so I had a cut list of what I needed. Once I had everything plain down I could just go ahead and cut everything according to that cut list. Mainly the bench consists of the long pieces for the seat and six shorter pieces for the leg assembly. All the joints are mitered, so I used a miter sled to get those 45 degree cuts nice and even. Spent my days in the dark 
And then I started working on the seating strips. I needed 32 of these and there was just enough material to get that. I made sure all the pieces were the same width by running them through the table saw and then I used the crosscut sled to cut them to length. And then of course I needed to sand all of those strips. My favorite thing in the whole world. The longer pieces needs to have slots for the seat strips. And I figured this would be easier doing now than after gluing up the entire leg structure. So I marked out the locations of the slots using a template that I printed from the drawing. And then I had them all cut on the table saw in a couple of passes for each slot. I used a flat tooth blade on the table saw. Now, gluing up 45 degrees can be a bit tricky. I 3D printed a couple of these miter clamps that worked very good for me. No matter what happens, it's me and you, baby. Nothing but time and music and a sweet cool drink on our feet. To reinforce the miters, all the joints have splines. I have a spline jig for the table saw that I used to cut those out. These are 9 millimeters wide. And to cut them straight, I used the same flat tooth blade with the table saw as before.
I had some offcuts that I used to cut some splines out of. I made sure they were a tight fit before gluing them up. Before attaching the seating strips I figured I could just go ahead and finish everything now instead of after the fact. So I gave all the strips a coat of Rubio cotton white. To prevent the area where I wanted to add glue I added some blue painters tape. Otherwise the glue won't stick. Cotton white gives the oak a wider matte satin finish that I really like. The last splines were a bit harder to cut since the bench was already glued up, but it worked just fine. I took my time on this and made sure it was straight against the fence.
I am absolutely happy and thrilled that this came together. I mean, this is a pretty cool transformation from that yellow old oak table uh, into this. So this is not my design. This is a Danish company called Skagerak. Uh, they made this bench and the bench is called Cutter. Uh, so I just made my version of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't